Good morning, it is just a little after 3 a.m. I've just gotten in. I just looked at my night note from Megan, our weekend evening anchor. I just some things and I'm gonna go just go through some of my emails to kind of sort through if there's anything else I need to grab. But yeah, now I'm gonna get just started producing. So today there's two shows. We have an hour long show, six to seven on KTTC. And then on our affiliate station, which is on the green screen side of the studio, which I'll show you, we have a half hour show from nine to 9.30. And then I believe we also have some cut-ins that we will have to film as well. So now I'm just gonna kind of get cranking on producing the show. I do get asked a lot what time I go to bed if I'm getting up at 2 a.m. <laughs> Yesterday was hard because I took a nap for way too long and it was after I went to the gym and stuff, so then it was already later afternoon. I ended up passing out for like two and a half hours, so obviously I woke up disoriented and then was eating dinner at like 9 o'clock and probably went to bed at like 10.30, so I'm only on so many hours of sleep, but you know what, the naps always help. So after the show, I will be taking a nap. Today's show, it just, some days are usually a lot more hectic for me, you know, producing. It took me all the way up until 5.30 so I could get ready. Something new we're putting in today, um, we did David Science Experiment yesterday, but today David did an experiment at home and filmed it and stuff, so we're gonna sit down and kind of talk about the science behind it. So I'll just add in a, Fun three minutes, three and a half minutes of us sitting at the desk kind of talking about it, showing the video. It's like an ice crystal bubble. All right, we're rocking the turtleneck with the pattern suit. I should actually have another suit coming in the mail tomorrow, so hopefully that can be for next weekend if it fits, so we'll see. I've gotten a couple suits from this website. It's supposed to be a, an olive green, so hopefully it fits because I would love that. <laughs> It is 5.47, so we're doing good. Then we can head into the studio. Okay, now I'm just getting signed in on the iPad. This is where the scripts are. So it's kind of used as a backup, just in case the teleprompter fails. You missed it. <laughs> All right, we're about a minute and a half out. We're gonna start the show. KTTC News. Good morning, thanks for waking up with us at KTTC this Sunday. So glad you're joining us this morning. I'm Charles Kelly. First, we are still tracking some frigid temperatures. We're starting today with another first alert day. Meteorologist David Burgett is joining us on the weather patio. Good morning, David. Hope you are staying warm out there. Please tell us when these freezing temperatures will end. Charles, we do have a first alert in effect for this morning. Yeah, you are right. I am not loving the cold, but you know what? I am excited for double digits again. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of people are. Yes, I mean, just these past couple weeks have been really cold and a lot of snow, and we weren't used to these wintry conditions before with December being so dry, but... Right. But now I knew it was gonna come eventually. So <laughs> might as well get it over with and then spring will be here before we know it. We got David joining me at the desk. We're gonna be talking about ice crystallization. Yep, in a frozen bubble, making a homemade mixture. All Just right. corn syrup and some dish soap, some water and some sugar. Yeah, so we filmed some stuff at home. So we'll have some video play. I'll, I'll put a couple clips in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. But we're just gonna be talking for a couple minutes and some science. Some science. <laughs> some science, just not live, but yeah. science. <laughs> we finished our first show of the day, and now I'm just finishing up producing. I'm almost done with our show that will be on our affiliate station, the Fox 47. So that will be in the same studio, just around the corner on our green screen side. So obviously I'm not wearing any green, so we're all set. Uh, but I'll definitely show you what that looks like. Next show is produced and ready. It is like 8.45, so just doing a quick touch up. And this one's only a half hour show. And this is on our affiliate, the Fox 47. Now our graphics change and we come over to the desk over here. And it's all just chroma keyed in. This is what it looks like chroma keyed in. Looks like a different studio. Thanks for tuning in with us here on Fox 47. I'm Charles Kelly. Fun opportunity for arts and crafts enthusiasts took place this weekend at the History Center of Olmsted County. Welcome back, as we've been seeing some freezing temperatures. David has another rendition of a science experiment. David, what are you breaking down for us today? So when we had that cold snap really come through here and as we warm up this week, I actually did a science experiment outside my house here in Rochester to see if I could freeze a bubble. I've seen this on social media before. I've so seen I, that too, yeah. I wanted to try 
to see if I could do it myself. And you notice here, you start to see a lot of the ice crystals start to pop up here. And that's a wrap. It's, it's time for a nap. <laughs> I'm gonna take a, a long nap when I get home. <laughs> long nap. Literally, like, was not making sense in part of the show, but long we're naps. good. We're good. Mm. It's this hour that I start crashing. <laughs> I'm crashing three hours of sleep. But not burning. <laughs> not, but not burning. Crashing, but not burning. All right.